This week we're headed to a place with beautiful architecture none other than Winona, Minnesota. Say that five times fast. The buildings were stunning. I mean, look at some of the old architecture on these buildings. And one thing that caught my attention was this bank. Look at this entrance. Hello, all you colorful sprinkles, it's Willow, and we're back with a new video this week. Sorry about last week, it got kind of crazy. But this week, we're going to Jimmy Jam's Comic Cards and Games for some more Pokemon cards. I didn't know if they were going to have Pokemon cards, but this was a good sign. And while they did have a ton of Pokemon, I totally ignored it because I walked into a giant building full of comic books, DVDs, video games, pops, tabletop games, everything you can imagine, everything a nerd could love like myself. Another good sign was the sun and moon poster that they had hanging in the back of the store. They also had 99 cent DVDs, which is a really good deal if you have the time to sit through and sort through those. I didn't really have the time to sit, I was just filming. However, I did notice this back wall full of pop vinyls that I hadn't seen most of these characters before. And I did happen to find one I really wanted, and can you guess which character that is? Of course it was Mr. Mime. And I didn't get it. I had restrained. Because that wasn't really what I was there for. However, I might go back and get it. I love Mr. Mime a lot. If you like tabletop games but you're not sure which to get, they also had a bunch of open box games that you could try out in their back gaming area, which is this room right here. And as the sign says in the front, I'm pretty sure this is where they teach you how to play Pokemon. And while I don't play video games myself too much, they did have a large selection of games to play across many different consoles. I was really interested in these obscure board games like Kitten and Meow, and in the back Kittens or Unstable Unicorns. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, including the Pandemic game. You can play what we've been living the last few years. And if you're into miniature painting, they have miniatures there as well that you can choose from. And I don't know much about it, but if you're into that, they have that as well. At the front of the store they had playing cards as well as tarot cards and trading cards like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon, but they didn't have the booster pack I was looking for so I ended up grabbing a Sword and Shield Fusion Strike to add to my Sword and Shield time capsule that I'm currently building in my closet. Yes, I am grabbing all the Sword and Shield booster packs from that era and I am putting them into a little box that I won't open for 10 years. And we'll see if we get any cool Pokemon then. Hopefully you're subscribed to the channel and you'll be able to open it with me. But I wanted to give a big thank you to Jimmy Jams. What a cool store. Definitely come visit them next time you're in Winona, Minnesota. There's also a lot to look at. There's even poetry printed in the sidewalks. And rainbow yarnicorns. All of these cool stores are in really old buildings that have been around forever and I want to look up the history of them. I'm going to see if maybe I can make a video on the building's history like I did with some of the buildings back in Florida. This building in particular is the courthouse and it had a really unique structure to it so I stopped and took a few pictures and then Kat and I took a cute selfie in front of it. And that's it from our short trip to Winona, but we also had to stop at Menards and I had to show Caden what I found. I gotta get your opinion on this bug. That is the dumbest I have ever seen. 
What kind of spider is this, baby? It's not. Spiders don't have skeletons, they have exoskeletons. My birthday is coming up this month and I'd love for you to watch along on this channel and see what I get into. We have some spooky things planned for October. I'll see you next week.